So the show is pretty linear um, as to the uh, original cutting of the show. Um, it's basically about Macbeth, who is a decorated general, um, and they come upon some witches who tell them a prophecy in which uh, Macbeth will become king. And of course, Lady Macbeth um, hears that news and convinces Macbeth to kill the king in order to assume that position. And it all kind of spirals into um, a chain reaction of more blood, more uh, greed and, and vicious ambition. Um, so eventually that leads to Macbeth's own death. Um, blood will have blood is one of the lines. But we do employ uh, several very important twists. For example, we casted the show gender blind, so that's why I have a wife instead of a husband. The directors decided that if somebody was fit for the role, that they would receive it. Um, we changed the pronouns to match up with the identity of the actors. So for example, Macbeth is my wife, you know, Macduff is a woman, but you know, characters like Angus still stay male. It's kind of difficult because when everyone hears Macbeth, obviously they think of a man. Um, so we have to work to challenge what their preconceived ideas are gonna be. Um, and obviously still portray the same power and um, blood and gore um, that's in the original script. So it's been a little challenging to try to push myself. I'm also like not the most like loud, vicious person. At least I don't think so. so uh, kind of putting on this whole new persona and putting myself in this mindset that's completely different from what I'm used to is kind of crazy and wasn't the easiest thing to settle into, but once I'm there, it's just like, it's a different person. It's, it's unreal. Uh, we also chose to set it in a post-apocalyptic setting, sort of a fresh take on a very old story. It's kind of a reflection of more modern times, more uh, modern struggles, and yet the uh, plot doesn't change, so it's kind of more relevant that you can relate to this show that's been around for hundreds of years when you're putting it into a futuristic setting. I, I talked to Darren about the possibility of me directing this show about a year ago at this point, um, and he was all on board, and from there he just sort of let me run with sort of whatever ideas I wanted to do, whatever I wanted to kind of consider. He let me just kind of do my thing and now we're here. I always enjoy the last fight scene um, just because it came such a long way and just knowing that it started from this very awkward, very slow, like weird movement with some sticks to like the intense, like bloody battle that it is now. Like it's just one of the things that I'm most proud about about this performance. At first it was a little challenging with like the tempo and like how quickly we had to go because um, sometimes we'd go too slow and sometimes we'd go too fast. Um, so that was kind of tricky to get everyone going at the same pace. But um, we had like a professional choreographer come in and help us with the um, fight sequences. So that was a lot of fun and um, we all like helped each other out to learn them. I really love the dagger scene. Obviously, it's a very famous scene, um, but just that moment of, uh, I feel, feel like the audience shares it, where you're not really sure if this thing that Macbeth is seeing is real or not, so the audience gets to share that, that wonder and confusion and, and a moment of insanity where you're wondering what's going on and what it all means, and that's kind of the tipping point that leads the uh, first murder to be done. I really like the parts that are mostly silent and there's just kind of these like very intense stares or just, um, yeah, the silence to me is the best part because it's very intense. Most of the shows that we've done so far, it's pretty much just like for people in Duxbury, by people in Duxbury, but this is kind of like higher stakes because it's like, you're performing for other theater people, for other schools and everything. And the language obviously presents a challenge in the fact that um, this is for a state competition, which has a lot more rules than just a regular show would. There's a time limit, there's all sorts of other regulations. So I think it's definitely more challenging in that respect, um, but that makes it a lot more fun. A lot of our usual stage crew are actually actors in this show. So we've actually had to put up this set, which we have a five minute time limit for, um, in costume and in character after we've all warmed up and after we've gotten in the mindset. So it's been kind of difficult because 
you're the character and you're the actor, but you're also doing all the tech stuff. So it's almost like they, they meld together a little bit and it's hard to, to keep yourself focused. And I think that that's something that we can all be really proud of ourselves for being able to do.